All right, so on this episode, we're going to make the exhaust. Um, but I already got this ducting that goes into the turbo. I got that made up, it was a total pain in the ass. It was just me sitting here drinking beer and kind of just looking at it, trying to figure out what to do, making templates. I filmed it, but it's pretty well useless. It's just me popping around the shop, not much going on. I'll show you it, it still needs to be metal finished. Um, bending it kind of made some creases in the sheet metal, so I'm going to try to finish it up as nicely as I can. I am going to wrap it, so this little chunk, so I'm not too, too worried about it because it's right close to the starter, about a quarter of an inch away from the starter, so we'll wrap that make sure that we don't burn anything, but got this on there now, um, comes around, so I don't know how low I want this to come out or how high, so we're going to start now on the cylinder heads and come out, it's gonna do some funky stuff, come going to two and one collector and then a little expansion joint uh, bellows and then on and then to a V-band flange and then the V-band flange, flange will attach to this so you can take the exhaust off as well as this little elbow. So I got the flanges all the flanges I'm using off the Buell and I've got the little pieces that um, that touch the head. So I've got those that are only an inch and a half or so long. So We'll get those on the bike and then we'll start figuring out our first bends and get those tacked on and uh, yeah, start moving down the line till we end up with this guy. Alright, so we got the uh, exhaust coming out of the cylinder. I just, when I, with the way I do this is I cut them, kind of hold them up, figure out what I want, get them close, and then when I got it figured out, I hold it and I put two dash marks across each one. So, like when it's, especially when it's tight to the cylinder like this. So I actually was able to hold these two and butt it up against the small, there's a small piece of tubing coming out of the cylinder head. And I could make two marks on this and two marks on that, and just match marks that when I take the thing apart, or when I take it off the bike, I can put them together and then tack weld it, clean them up, tack weld them, make it all nice, then put it back on and it's exactly how I wanted it. Now, from when we go on, we might still do that, but at least I can tack it while it's on the bike right now. So, we've got it going to here, it's all inch and three quarters so far, so it's got a tight radius bend here to get it away from the turbo and then a, kind of a more loose radius here. Now we're going to make it a step header, so from here on we're going to go to uh, inch and seven eighths. So all my stuff that I got was from Vibrant. These are uh, transition pieces. They didn't have inch and three quarter to inch and seven eighths. So this is inch and a half to two inch. So um, I got two of these. They obviously don't fit very well, but we I marked it. I marked one of them. So we'll chuck that up in the lathe. And we will cut, um, we'll just put a cut, we've got a chuck up in the lathe, we'll part off one end, part off the other, and then we'll be able to do that. Because you could use a, uh, you could, like if a lot of people just butt up like that, and then weld them up, but I don't like that too much. I'd rather, um, I'd rather have a little transition. It's just a little slicker and uh, a little bit more work, but. Yeah, so we'll machine these two up and get them uh, cut up and then we can weld this on and start working our way back. Alright, so you probably just saw me chuck the uh, cone out of the lathe. Um, no really good place to grab it. I'm a fucking idiot. I should have done it differently. It was like midnight last night. So I ended up, was at the day job today and they, like I said before, they went to one and a half inch to two inch. So I ended up taking a piece of two inch round stainless stock and welding this to it, just tack welding it in four spots. And then parting off here and then parting off there. So now we got these inch and three quarter to inch and seven eighths cones. Uh, they look good. And then I saved one inch and seven eighths to two inch. So when we go, it's going to go two into one. So it'll be both inch and seven eighths into one collector. And then it'll bump up to two inches. So we'll grind the welds off this. And then that'll be our two inch to the turbo here. 
So right now we'll get this tacked on and then we're going to make a slight bend, inch and seven eighths, make a slight bend and then we're going to try to do a quick horseshoe here to the bottom side of the collector which we haven't made yet. So we'll get this little bend here and then we'll figure out where we're going to get this tight inch and seven eighths radius down there and then we'll kind of hook up somewhere there and we'll make a collector. Yeah, so we'll get this tacked on and then we'll start moving back and we can, once we get down to where the thing collector is going to go, then we can get the front cylinder, start going towards the collector that we haven't made yet. So we got to do that still, but coming along. So I got one of the loose radius pieces, um, cut this up and it's going to fit there and then I'm pretty sure this is the piece. Let's see, yeah because I had one of this other tubing I had kicking around and it was, it was quite small compared to the um, vibrant tubing that I got that on the bend it seemed to be pretty bang on. Anyways. That's little bend's gonna start tipping forward, and then we'll put this U on here. So it's gotta kind of get close to the motor and come down. I've marked here where I need to cut it to kind of bring it in, and then it's gonna end up in the collector that we made. So we made this collector, um, and it's stepped up from inch and seven eighths on both of them, and then goes to two inch through this flexible bellows. Um, the motor is rubber mounted. The turbo is rubber mounted as well, but it's mounted to the frame. And just in case anything gets funky, like the rubber mount should take up everything, but this uh, expansion joint should help a bit. So, and then a V-band flange tacked onto the end of there. So we'll get this guy, we'll come around here behind this tubing and wrap around and then hit this. Um, so we'll have to cut this, cut the other one, and then tack them together once we get the collector where we want it. Then we can come from the top tube, come down, we'll have this nice little swoop up and then into here. And once this is all attached, then we can come off here, make the bend where we want it, and then tack the V-band flange onto the other one. And the exhaust will be all tacked up and then we'll just have to weld it. So right now we're going to cut this tube, get it kind of figured out where we want it, cut this guy, see if we can get them to meet up, and then we'll hack this off and make our way there. Alright, so I got the rear cylinder pipe off that I've been making. Um, where the front cylinder pipe is going to come into the collector when it comes uh, out this way, and it's going to go around really tight. So these two welds might be kind of a pain in the ass to do. And if the other one, it's going to probably, I'm not sure where the, I think it's going to be in here, so I don't think it'll be too bad to get to. But if that's bad, we won't weld it here and we'll pull off the rest of that and then weld the shitty part first. So you got to pur it's all stainless steel, so best practice to purge it. Um, these are just some plugs that I made up. I just turned them down on my lathe into a taper. Got an air ho or um, uh, air tool silencer, just that little brass mesh thing, and then just a uh, just a barbed hose fitting. So just with the uh, taper, you just tap it in, and it ain't going anywhere tight in there and then you can stick the hose on the end of that which I oh, popped it out 
So we can just get that in there. There we go. So now on this side, we will grab just some re regular old uh, tin foil. Just grab some tin foil. Then we can just make it into a decent sized ball. And then we can shove it into this end. And when we shove it in there, it'll uh, kind of cover up the hole but still leave some air pockets for the purge gas to come out of. So yeah, we'll turn, turn the purge on for a couple minutes now and then we will uh, Turn the purge on for a couple minutes and then we can start welding that and it should stay good. So that'll be nice. So we got the exhaust on and all tacked up. Um, had to, before I finished these guys, like I say, man, there's a bunch of jumping from here to there, scratching your head, drinking beer. It's really hard to film all this shit. But um, just bounce around the shop. When I, before I got this all done, I welded, I purged and welded the whole sheet metal elbow. It's just a lot of welding, and I was afraid it would have done something weird if I had already hooked it up. So. Um, did, got that welded, got these up, this piece, had to weld it, um, because it's just too close back here to get in, so, the whole thing's all tacked up, now we're going to take it off, we will purge this guy, um, get it welded, purge the rest of the whole exhaust, and just start welding it all together, I still need to find, and, uh, I still need to get a one and a half inch piece of tubing for the wastegate, which should come off here, um, so, still waiting on that, but once we get this welded up, we always cut the hole for the wastegate, put it on, come up, weld the flange up, and then we can get the wastegate to come out with the main exhaust, which we're not going to get going on until we're done the, or until we're working on the sheet metal, because it's going to kind of flow into it. So, right now we're just going to take everything off, and then we'll get onto the table, start purging this thing, and uh, yeah, just start burning all these welds in. So we got the exhaust all on, um, turned out great, I'm really happy with it. The only thing I haven't done is um, make an elbow out here for the wastegate. I have the wastegate um, Turbo Smart uh, 38 millimeter wastegate, the smallest one they make. But um, I don't have inch and a half mandrel bent stainless tubing that I still gotta find. So I'll get that and then it's basically just like a little bend off here and then I have the flange as well, the flange on it and I'll tuck it up somewhere tight here. And then um, basically the rest of the exhaust has to come out and off the wastegate and they're both going to kind of come together and exit pretty close to here, right underneath your ass. So that all is going to get done after the sheet metal. I'm going to incorporate uh, the, sheet, the sheet metal into the exhaust and still need to make a uh, uh, heat shield here. So I have to make a couple pieces, weld them on and make the heat shield. So still got to do that, but um, all in all this is complete. Uh, really happy with how it looks. It's, uh, yeah, definitely happy with it. Right now, this was going to be the end of the video, but I got to put a steering dampener mount on for the dampener on top of the triple clamps. 
Um, got to have that because of where the post is. I got to know how far ahead the tank's going to be in the next thing, sheet metal. So, yeah, it's a quick little 10 minute machine, two pegs and one. So, yeah, we'll get to that. Get the steering net in and then that'll be it. Alright, and here's the steering damper mirror mount all done. Just this peg welded on, it's got tapped obviously. It's just the straight through one and the, and the triple clamp was tapped when I made them months ago. Um, here is the, uh, it, it, so they got little heim joints and it tends to, they fall forward. This one is, uh, it just rests on the top of the, of the bolt, on the top of the clamp. And I've rotated it. It's you got to get pretty extreme turn that I'll never get to there. Like I'll, I haven't put a stop on it yet, but um, yeah, it just skirts across it. You have to get really far past it to make it drop down, but it works really good. Olin steering dampener, um, great piece of piece of kit there. So yeah, it's the end of this video. Um, next video we're gonna start on the wire frame of the sheet metal. We're gonna do the gas tank and the seat. So we'll get going on that, but uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.